Hi everyone, it's Dee's here. Today I would like to do a bit of a craft supply haul, plus show you some of my supplies. We'll see how we go because I have quite a lot. So I think I'm going to start with the recent um, craft items that I bought. over the next year um, I will be making quite a few craft projects especially centered around Christmas ornaments because I would like to uh, decorate my entire tree with homemade ornaments so I'm going to be a very busy lady <laughs> these resin balloons um, there's 18 pieces I purchased from the reject shop so they would make good embellishments nice pastel colors there I have um, either side of me This one here has five drawers and the one to my left has four and they're both full of stuff so I need to buy some more drawers so that's that one This, I think, was from Cheapest Chips. No, sorry, not Cheapest Chips. Spotlight. <laughs> I had to think about that for a bit. Uh, $2.99 and you get three um, Christmas wooden Christmas trees with little stands. So that would make a nice um, table decoration. is ready to paint and embellish the way you want and now this one I'm pretty sure this was from Kmart um, it's about three dollars you get 12 um, metal tags and there's silver gold and rose gold I don't know if the color will come up on on that too well but you can use these as charms and they have a hole at the top so you just hang them from a bangle or a little ring now this was from spotlight a clearance originally five dollars um, I got them for two 16 piece of iron on cross studs in a sort of antique bronze almost not really too antique but I thought they would make good embellishments so as far as craft supplies go whenever I see sales or things quite cheap I'll grab them especially ribbon um, and towards the end of uh, this coming Christmas I'm going to go to the after sales and get as many um, things as I can especially ribbon while they're cheap now this was from cheap as chips um, these are foil embellishments so it's very thin metal 
a little bit thicker than the aluminium foil that you use in the kitchen um, but they look quite expensive so I bought two packs how many do you get in each? I think you get four in each um, I have to go back and get some silver As some of you may know, I'm uh, hubby and I are living with my daughter um, while we build a new home. So my pastime will be crafting, hoping that I'll still be able to make a few videos here and there. But she will have two babies at that stage so they're going to be very old school type videos if I make any <laughs> I'm really looking forward to spending some time with my grandchildren this one has purple a plum and a burgundy or red sort of a cherry red metallic blue gold and silver so I can't wait to start making projects out of all these things now this reel of ribbon was a big bargain um, it's 50 millimeter wide which is five centimetres wide and 25 metres long. I don't know what that is in yards. For $2. $2. Oh my goodness. That is a bargain. 25 metres. So I'm thinking what I could um, make with this. I'd like to try and make some ribbon angels but there's no wire either side so I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on where that's concerned but I do like the brown satiny brown pop that back there and um, these are from cheapest chips Four dollars each, um, 24 sheets of cardstock. So this is black and white. They both glitter. Sorry about that. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Really glitzy, glittery. I'm just wondering much fallout I'll get with that. Doesn't seem to be too much but I'm guessing there'll be some. Then you have the beautiful iridescent light. Oops, everything's falling apart, look at that. Beautiful silver. So I'm sure there will be plenty of things that I can make with these. And this one's uh, just the golds and the silver metallics. It's called. So you have the different golds more of a yellow gold very pretty and what else do we have we have the 
silver, that's more of a lighter silver than the last one I showed you. And more of a lighter gold, which I like more than the yellow gold, I think. So I'm really excited to cheap on eBay from China um, but unfortunately for me here in Australia for some reason they take uh, they could take almost three months to get here the norm is about eight to ten weeks so that is a long time to wait for craft supplies so I was in Kmart and Big W long ago and I came across this one's from Big W earrings for two dollars and what you can do the original price was seven so I look out for clearances what you can do is um, get the wire cutters the jewelry wire cutters and snip the uh, the post at the back off and there you have an embellishment Just a little flower with um, crystal looking centers. Obviously, they're not crystal, they're just glass. But uh, for a dollar each, that's pretty cheap. I think that's great. And I purchased these, are going to be Christmas ornaments. I purchased four packs. They were two dollars each, so again a dollar for an embellishment. These are earrings. And I'm just going to, they have a lot of rhinestones on these ones. Um, snip the back off and there you go, a dollar each. And I don't have to wait for a long time all my products so every time I go out I'm going to check the, the jewellery section and see what I can find so for my I haven't really decided yet but for my Christmas decorations for the tree I want to stick to iridescent whites and pale golds silver type of thing with a bit of lace maybe make it look a bit Victorian era I don't know I'll see I'll probably change my mind a hundred times and these are some studs and these were all two dollars for a pair so some of them are square The design that I showed you here. It's a square. What else have I got? All different designs. very new stuff I bought. 
thought I've been collecting, I don't know, over the last couple of years. So some of them are new and not used, but they're quite, you know, they've been sitting there for a while. So this I bought at the end of last Christmas. Some iridescent pearl string beads, which will be perfect for crafting my Christmas ornaments. Originally about five, and I'm guessing I got it about half price off, two dollars fifty. CD stand the round where you put the round discs in made out of plastic and I covered it with velvet and trimmed it off finished it off with this this lovely trim so I always try and keep little bits here and there because you never know when you're gonna need them this is some beautiful square trim with little rhinestones in the middle from another project I did and then I put the, the square in in the resin with some glitter and I was going to make earrings out of them but I haven't gotten around to doing that yet speaking of resin I'll show you one of the my projects that I've almost finished, which I actually did this a couple of years ago. So it looks like a little deep sea treasure. Um, trying to find something dark to put it against so you can see. There we go. That might be better for you to see. So in the resin, I went to the beach and bought some sand and a little bit of seaweed there's a sterling silver seahorse charm in there which it broke from my bracelet so I thought what a good thing to add to this little project I have a Swarovski crystal red there and I have a few broken, very fine gold chains, so I cut a bit out and put that in there. I don't know if you can see that well enough, but it's really pretty. Like 
fine black seaweed there as well. And what I'm going to do is put a dark backing on there, glue that at the back, file the edges nicely, and then put a glue on bail to the back and make a pendant out of it. But yeah, I was going to leave it clear there at the back, but you can see the inside of the bale, so I have to stick something at the back or paint it or whatever. I don't know yet, I haven't decided what I'm going to use. Okay, let's get on with some more supplies. These crystal um, amethyst beads I purchased quite a few years ago and I've never used them so that's part of my concerned whatever you can find to use use it so as you know I'm into nail art supplies and these are actually um, for nail art but you can use them for crafting as well these are gold and silver studs in various shapes so I have teardrops circles triangles, squares, hearts, so they will be, come, so they will come in very handy. Um, now, there was something in particular that I wanted to show you. Here they are. 
I had an old pair of jeans. Now you can see the blue denim at the back of these. These are uh, some more antique gold or brass looking studs. Um, and I have round shapes and diamond shapes. So again, it's just looking out for things that you can use. Also, I'm going to second-hand stores and such and buying old jewellery. This was from Kmart. It was a necklace for about a dollar and I can see why. Look at it. <laughs> it doesn't sit properly but it has lots of beads on this that I can use for crafting. There's one, two, three, four strands of different sized pearls. And this darker sort of um, metallic gold, black, brown coloured beads. And a bit of chain. So you never know when you might need to use that stuff. Okay, I might take the whole drawer out, I think. thread in the rose gold sorry in the rose gold gold and silver iridescent glitter over those or I can use them as part of an embellishment for a bigger project. Honestly I have so much stuff here. I'm going to have to start making last Christmas or the one before and I never wore them so they're going to be cut off and used as an embellishment of some sort. Just 
sparkly white. Flat back. I bought two packets of these little resin flowers with a rhinestone in the center. And they have a very, very fine gold green glitter. Some more cardstock actually because I'd like to make a few of those shaker cards that you get. I should have remembered so I could get more. This is the chunky glitter. And then I have this red. Um, it looks actually very chunky. It looks like the broken glass glitter, the German glass glitter, which I have ordered some silver. I wanted the clear, but the amount that I had to buy was too expensive. So I'm waiting on that. But whenever I see some glitter, I'll buy it if I don't have the colour. As long as it's not too expensive. Um, these come in packs of five. So I've got the blue, the red, it's a very pale gold, the lime green and the white. So maybe once a fortnight I'll go into Chippers Chips or the Reject Shop and see if they have any different colours. Gold and white in it again. But this has um, very few dark specks through it, so they're slightly different. Gold again. And this one's a little bit darker. Then I have a slate grey.
from Office Works. Um, the paint marker, medium point. I bought these from the Browse In and Save. They're angel wings. So you get a pack of six. I bought three, so that's 18. So I'm going to make 18 angels. And I haven't worked out how I'm going to make them yet. But I'll take one out of the wrapper. Just a new glue gun because my old one was so
wire cutter and use that somewhere along the line in a project I think that's about it yep 